Larson. That's where we are. Oh, that's uh, that's interesting. <laughs> you're, you're like, it's so it's funny. It's nice to see that you're not jaded. You know, some, you meet some young people in the business that are still that are dated already. Yeah. You know, they're, they're having some success and like, yeah, I'll go do these shows. It's just so nice to see someone who's just so. Yeah, excited. I'm not on heroin yet. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a year. All right, now. John Conan. Um, now, so much to talk about. First of all, I know I, I want to talk about uh, Short Term Twelve because your performance is stunning. Everyone's talking about your performance, and we'll get to that in a second. I do know that you were just shooting in <laughs> India. No, did you talk about no, it? No, I haven't talked no about it a bit. Not it everyone. And he you. calls me incessantly talking about it. <laughs> Short time 12, and then he hangs up. What do you think we're doing right now? Yeah, I'm like, I'm trying to I'm sleep, still Eddie. Performing. Yeah. You were just in India, is that right? Shooting? I was. What were you, you're shooting, obviously, it's a different project, but had you been to India before? That's got to be an amazing place no, to shoot. No, I'd never been, and it's just the most complicated and confusing place I've ever been in my life. <laughs> Have you ever been? I did. I did one project there. I was there for a couple of days, and it was was completely mind blowing. I loved it. I found the most amazing thing to me was when I was in a cab or something and I was going uh, through like a dense part of the city and just seeing that there's no, no one's driving in a certain lane. There's nobody. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it really is. Uh, no, you're it, constantly it, in a game of chicken. There's yeah, everyone's no, on their own. There's no completely. right lane. There's no right or left side. There's no differentiation between the lanes. And there's no addresses either. You just say what it's nearby. So I'd spend hours in the car every day just kind of driving around in circles. What do you mean you say what it's nearby? You get in and what do you say to the cab driver? You try and give them an address and they just kind of wiggle their head and they go, yes ma'am, yes ma'am. And then you drive for hours and you're like, and you end up on a ferry, you're going across a river, you didn't know you are supposed to go across or you thought you were going over a bridge and you're driving around in circles and finally you keep asking them about it and you say, oh, it's, you know, it's near the Chinese restaurant because there's only, you know, one. Yeah. And, <laughs> and they'll finally, they oh, say, oh, Why did you right. just say that? Yeah, exactly. Or it's some sort of childhood memory. The drivers would all kind of go around in circles and they'd be like oh no 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 it's by you know you know that one tree we used to hang out at in sixth grade you know like that's even if you're writing a letter I'd say like you know Conan near I don't know what's near here near the moon there very nice <laughs> near the oversized moon there yeah. you go their Google Maps over there is really wherever wacky. <laughs> wherever Andy is and then that would be somehow uh, get over there uh, now you um, I want to say as uh, you're very young but as a kid I've I've heard that you were not afraid to, like a lot of kids are trying to conform, not you. That was not your way as a kid. You want to try and <laughs> challenge social norms, is that yeah, right? Do yeah. things differently, almost on purpose? Yeah, I was really into just kind of tormenting my parents by like asking for things that were completely unreasonable. And I, one thing I, I tried for a while was eating dinner in the shower. I was like adamant that I, that, that was going to be a great time saver. I was, I was really concerned. Well, that's just a sign of mental illness more than that. <laughs> it didn't make any eating sense. Eating dinner in the shower? No, you can't, because you can't like shampoo and eat a steak at the same time. Like scalp potatoes doesn't work in the shower. It right. doesn't taste good with water. I mean, like. I don't know, rice pudding was a highlight, but like that was kind of... <laughs> I think a popsicle works if it's not a hot that's shower. That's a good idea. If it's a cold shower, a popsicle's fine. I don't want to give anyone that visual, but yeah, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> Go on. Let's move on. Um... You ever do stuff like that? Eat in the shower? No. No, not eat in the shower, no. <laughs> Okay. It's a whole unspoken. I know. I just think I'm gonna leave it. I don't ask. I'm not. I'm not gonna say another damn word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, short term 12, uh, I don't want to embarrass you, but your performance is absolutely stunning. A lot of there's a lot of Oscar buzz, a lot of people talking about your performance, a lot of excitement, and uh, it really is a stunning performance. We have a clip uh, to show, cool. and what can you tell us about this scene? Um, well, this is a scene kind of early on in the film. Um, I play a, uh, a line staff at a short-term foster care facility, so I'm kind of the person who does, deals with their day-to-day. -day. So this is, the movie deals a lot with the day-to-day, -day, and this is part of the highs and lows. Of, right. You're, you're working with a lot of young kids who have a lot of issues, and, and the movie's really about you establishing this really incredible relationship with this one girl. But let's take a look at this clip from Short Term 12. Hey, everyone. I think most of you have already met her, but we have a new member of our community. Jaden, would you introduce yourself? Um, please don't be offended if I'm not very friendly, but I'm going to be living with my dad soon, and 
I don't really like wasting time on short-term relationships, so, you know, it's nothing personal. Wow. She seems like a really nice girl. Hey, I think we all can respect her space, okay? Okay, what do we want to play for rec today? Wiffle ball, dude. Okay. Oh, man. We're always playing that stupid game. Because you always suck at it. Until you get good at it, maybe we can stop playing it. Watch your mouth, bro. Both of you, cut it out. Any other suggestions? <coughs> yes, Sammy? Can we play big and small? Is that a real game, or is that a game you just made up? It's a real game that I just made up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, maybe you can explain that to me later. <laughs> I identify with that boy. I got a video my that's me. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk more about that. Short Term 12 is in select cities now. Bree, I'm really happy for you. So cool to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Yeah, best of luck to you. Bree Larson, we'll be right back. King, cool, stick around.